Uh, Paul, another training session has finished now. How do you feel the boys are ahead of Helmut Hempstead's game? Yeah, we're in a good place. Um, as you saw, sort of 16 out there training today, which is better. Uh, better than the six that we had last Thursday. Um, Nicky Bailey uh, is still out with a, a back and a hamstring, Craig McAllister. But it's good to see Dan Spence and Sean Cooper training today. Um, talk us about the other injuries that you have as well with uh, uh, like McAllister and Jane Collins as well. Yeah, well, Jamie's um, having a scan on Monday or Tuesday at the moment. I mean, it's, it's black and blue from the top of his hamstring right down to his calf, so it doesn't look very good. Um, but the scan will determine how long he's going to be out for. But we, we, we would expect at least to be to the end of March, so it's quite a serious injury. Uh, Craig's actually progressing quite well. Uh, we're hoping to get him straight line running next week, and he'll probably be available uh, maybe the first week in March. An impressive run for you guys so far in 2016, unbeaten mm. in the league. Um, only dropped points against Barcelona only just last weekend. And obviously, you're catching up with uh, Exeter United, you're now second place. Are the, could there be a possibility? Well, I think it's our, it's our chance you know, to take up the mantle uh, for a week. Um, Maystone have been second now for some time, we're now second, having caught up with our games in hand. And it's up to ourselves and Maidstone and Gosport uh, and whoever wants to keep giving it a go to, to keep just going to the end of the. Uh, season uh, or until we can't uh, eventually catch them but you don't want to give away the title um, but realistically absolutely uh, are in prime position uh, they're in a great position and rightfully so and it's for us to see if we can chase them down but you know if you're a betting man uh, at the minute you'd be betting that absolutely are, are going up and one of us have got to, got to follow them in the playoffs and finally uh, obviously at the Basingstoke game uh, another great win for you guys mm -hmm. Well, as well as that, you also had uh, Dan Wishart's uh, red cards. Uh, was yeah, be listen, I thought the referee in general was, uh, had a very good game. I like Gary Parsons as a, man uh, as a referee, not as a manager, as a referee. Um, he got two big decisions in the game wrong. Uh, Jay Gasson, uh, who brought down Dan Fitchett, had to be sent off. Uh, there was no cover and defender because Fitchett was already about to shoot in the goal. Uh, and then Wish has got uh, a soft yellow card. I think he intimated it was his second foul in the half or something. And I was right in line with the uh, with the sending off, and um, he's pushed it past the left back or the right back. He's put his leg out. Dan's gone over it. It might have been soft, but I'd have done it if I was. I I, I would have done it, and Ian Bear would have done it as a striker. That's what you do. Uh, and the referee initially put his hand towards the spot, and then um, he got a couple of lads in his ear, and his arm seemed to go in a different direction, and, and, he, and he gave an indirect free kick. So. Um, whilst our disciplinary record needs um, always needs constantly looking at, we're aware of it. Um, it was an unfortunate sending off for Dan, but it, it does have a big impact because that means he'll be out for at least two games and uh, possibly three when it comes around because he's also close to ten bookings. Um, we can't, in a smaller squad, afford to, to lose too many through you know, through discipline or suspension. But that case on sat, uh, on Tuesday night was um, a strange decision, I think, from the referee. Yeah. Uh, so um, and obviously with the great run uh, comes more fans and obviously there's a great um, support on the base at the away game in Basingstoke midweek as well. That must be a great boost for you guys. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, to see over at least over a hundred of our supporters there on a cold Tuesday night at Basingstoke was uh, again, you know, a tribute to them. Uh, they make a huge difference. And uh, you know what what's been happening at home in the last four to six weeks with the you know with the extra noise and the extra numbers, um, it's a big fill up and. Uh, you know, we've only got eight weeks of the season, nine weeks of the season left to go now. And um, you know, we need to keep the supporters coming, but especially away from home, they've been magnificent for us. And uh, you know, hopefully on, on uh, against Hamel on Saturday, they can roar us on to another three points. Paul, thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks. There you go.